officials since Labour took power and sets the scene for the Prime Minister's visit to America on Friday. The British journalist David Knowles, who was covering Russia's invasion of Ukraine for the Telegraph newspaper, has died at the age of 32. He worked on the award-winning podcast, The Latest on Ukraine, as a senior journalist and presenter. He passed away whilst in Gibraltar following what was believed to have been a cardiac arrest. Let's speak to Francis Denley, who worked with David and is also the assistant comment editor and co-presenter of that podcast, Ukraine The Latest. Francis, I know this is a very tough time for you. Appreciate your time with us. What can you tell us about what happened? Well, thank you very much for the time this evening. I know it would have meant an enormous lot to David, and it certainly does to all of our um, of his colleagues at the Telegraph newspaper. Um, it's shocking news. We're all obviously still processing what's happened, and there will be more to come, I'm sure, in terms of news that those who are following this case closely about what exactly has happened. Um, but just to say that he was an absolutely beloved colleague and it's a very very sad day for British journalism. I'm very aware of course that many people watching this tonight will be interested in the war in Ukraine but will only check into it every few days perhaps every few weeks in some cases but it's people like David who believed passionately that it was the responsibility of journalists to never look away and to report on it every single day. And that's what the podcast he created has sought to do. Francis, the tributes on the Telegraph website go to nearly 100 pages, 100 pages of tributes that have been paid to David. He had a huge audience in the United States. He, I believe, was due to visit the US Embassy in London. Do you believe in any way that his death, his death could be linked to his coverage of Ukraine? Uh, there's no evidence of that. And I don't think it's right to speculate um, when we're all just processing the news. But you're right that he absolutely uh, was due to be attending the uh, event with Anthony Blinken as uh, somebody who is passionate about the war in Ukraine and has been following it now every single weekday that it has been taking place and has taken four visits to Ukraine and indeed was planning the next one for us, his team. And uh, of course, this is something that all of us will take a long time to process, but we are absolutely dedicated to continue the work that he is doing. And this, as I say, is not just the case of being a loss for British journalism. It's a loss for world journalism. And indeed, I would say a loss for believers in the free world itself. Um, the podcast has an enormous audience um, around the world, over 200,000 listeners each day. We were just approaching our 100 million downloads um, since the duration of the podcast. Many listeners in America, as you say, including in, we understand, the White House, um, the Pentagon, many other very important institutions. And indeed, that was the case all around Europe, too, oh. with ambassadors writing in today, people who were in very senior positions in government circles around Europe. And all of them talk about not only his journalistic integrity, but his marvellous and beautiful personality, which shone through. He was utterly authentic, utterly without ego, and um, his empathy for human suffering, which is taking place every day in the war in Ukraine and which matters to all of us, was always at the forefront of his mind. And it will continue to be on ours in his memory. Francis, uh, you've just described why this was important uh, for him. He, I think, epitomises traditional journalism. He was literally pounding the streets, getting that original story the human voices telling the story of those impacted every day um, by the war um, that Russia has inflicted on Ukraine. Why was that important to him? Uh, it was absolutely vital. And why was it important to him? Because he cared about human beings. As I say, he was a person without ego. He wanted to shine a light on people who had very, very easily forgotten. One of the, I think, hallmarks, unfortunately, of the global coverage of the war in Ukraine is that we are so focused on the political minutiae and indeed the 
military situation that we lose the sight of the war crimes that are taking place constantly um, with over 19,000 children taken from their homes and transported to Russia, kidnapped there, hundreds of thousands killed. And it was David who believed most passionately about giving voices to those who are often voiceless in war. And he went there himself to talk to those people. And indeed, okay. he has saved lives. We, and you don't need to take my word for that. People who have been on the podcast, thanks to him, who he found, charities that he rose awareness of, issues that he rose awareness of, that was then picked up by other institutions, by other individuals, has then brought aid to those people. So journalis journalism, and I speak as one, is an often derided profession, sometimes with good reason. But David was somebody who represented the very best of our profession. And indeed, I would say the very best of Britishness itself. And so it is an enormous loss for journalism and indeed, I think, for the country and those who believe in the Western values that we purport to do. Francis Stanley, um, I just want to say thank you very much uh, for sharing the story of uh, David Knowles, who's passed away at the age of uh, 32. It's a, a tough time for you and, of course, your colleagues at The Telegraph. And we pass on our condolences. Thank you very much indeed.